Welcome back. Uh, during the break, one of our viewers uh, contacted and asked this question. Salting uh, afterwards when you're eating versus while you're cooking. It's okay to do the latter. Yeah, so I don't know if you ever watch cooking shows, but you know they're always harping on, are, are you tasting your food? Are you tasting your food? And, and I mean, as a teacher, as a culinary teacher, are you tasting your food? Like they would bring it to me and I'm like, have you tasted this? And, and if they told me yes, then I'm like, well, then your seasoning's way off. You know, but uh, I think for people who season at the table, it's just habit. Yeah. You know, my dad doesn't. He doesn't even taste the food. He just he's putting the salt and the pepper on it right away. Yeah. And you know, I mean, it's just habit for him. It's it's just you know something that that has come to be. So you know, I think that for for cooks at home, I really encourage you to taste the food uh, in in all the the progressions down the way, just so that you have an idea of how that is. You know, we like, covered. Like salting the water for pasta, things like that. Yes. You know, these are just, because I mean, it shouldn't be salty like the sea. And that's pretty darn salty. All right. Well, we covered salt very yes, well. Yes, we did. All right. Pick up the pace here and uh, let's go. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have you put a little uh, ricotta mixture on that. So here's our tomatoes after they have been uh, blistered. So oh, just, uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Just, Do you see what I mean by blister? You know, we really have actually blistered these skins, but yet the tomato holds its shape. And that's really what we want to do. Now, uh, on some of these outliers, we might have gotten just a little too blistering, but actually I like those. Um, they have a lot of flavor in there. So now what we're doing is we're just putting those on our, our bruschetta. And I'm gonna have you do that. Um, there's another, I can get you another spoon over here. How quickly does it go from you know A to done? You mean the, the blistering of the yep. tomatoes? Yep. I would say within 20 minutes at about okay. 500 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So now here I'm doing a flatbread. Now you're doing the bruschetta thing. Okay. And I'm doing a, a flatbread concept. Now, another thing you can do is you can make like a tomato sauce with this. So if you had some pasta, you could do like a little pasta salad where, you know, you cook some pasta off, uh, maybe toss it with a little bit of pesto, a little olive oil, and then just kind of toss some of these tomatoes right in with it. And you have a nice cold uh, pasta salad. So wouldn't that be nice on the patio? Oh, I could see this with a... Yeah. Nice glass of wine, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. See, we need, we need a wine sponsor now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I have some uh, fresh mm. mozzarella. Mm. Yeah. So then uh, what we'll do is I'm going to give you some basil. We can sprinkle on top. over the top of it. Yeah. Now, uh, when you're cutting basil, just one thing is to make sure your knives are very, very, very sharp. Uh, if they're not, you're going to make, make what I call grass clippings. And so see how nice and clean that is? My goodness, you're yeah. quick. Well, I've yeah. been doing it for a while. Yeah. Um, but, and then I'm just taking some fresh mozzarella here. Uh, these happen to be Silangine. Uh, it's a cheap, it's like little cherries. Um, but uh, you're gonna use, you know, just about anything. And then I'll just blast this in uh, oven real quick. And I say blast, I mean, I'm talking about a good 500 uh, degrees. Now, if you have one of those little outdoor uh, pizza ovens, pff, how awesome would that be, right? That's something I have on my Christmas list. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That's yes, gorgeous. Well, thank you. All right, so let's get that out in front of people. Now, I think you should definitely take one to try it. Okay. And then uh, and then I would put this in, and then I would put the basil in after it comes out of the oven. Okay. okay. And is this going to soften up? Uh, well, it will get, yes, I'm going to get nice and crispy. Nice little, well. okay. Mm, that's good, too. But see what I mean about that concentration of flavor, you know, and just that nice caramelization you get? Well, I think, too, The in fact, all of the recipes that we've worked together on, it's a light, mm -hmm. a light flavor or a light feeling going down the mouth. Mm -hmm. It's great. And it goes back to that whole idea of being on the patio with friends and family. And now's the time of year to do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, You're Chef Randall. Thank you for joining us. All of this and uh, many more recipes at valleynewslive.com. That's all I need to say. Oh. Thanks for joining. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, question. So I, I want to just show that, like, see how that's still pat? Those tomatoes just come right off. And that's a big part of it. Okay, got it. So Thank I, you so much again. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. Join us again right here on, on our Twitter today.